um, when Brock, they were they were there in between camp, and Brock had his daughter in his hand, and people saw him and went to grab him, take pictures, and he's holding his daughter, and they grabbed the hand, he's holding his daughter, and he just went off on this dude, and he's like the nicest guy ever. Brock's like, always great, but I guess this fan was like, oh my god, Brock Lesnar, and he's like, yeah, I'm with my kids, man, don't bother me, and some dude was like, no, let's do get a picture, and grabs him, and he's holding his daughter, and it just went, click, click. and he just was like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Grabbed his arm while he's holding his daughter. So he's holding his daughter that's like this, we and the guy went. That's what, yeah, like what, what reminded me of. It. Yeah, and grabbed him. He's like, "What the fuck, dude? I got my daughter here, man, and I'm Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna yeah. twist your head off." People want what they want, and they don't care. <sighs> yeah, I just don't see him fighting again. I'm, I'm, I'd be happy if I was wrong. I think he definitely wants to get back in there again. I mean, I think he has some some fights in his mind that he would like to get back. I, I think, think he could Kane, beat. I think, I think he could like beat Kane. Ninety five percent of the division too. I He's a he freak, man. Yeah, he is a freak. You know, Pico Grams, no Pico Grams. He's a fucking freak, dude. Pico Grams. That's just my reference for fucking steroids now. <laughs> Pico, Pico's so hot right now. Um, he's such a freak. He is. I tell you, you want some skeptical hippo eyes for your boy Nowitzki? How about the test results for Lesnar showed up, then went away on their website, and they're like, "Oh, it's just a, just a random mistake. It's just a glitch that fifty thousand dollars took care of." How funny is that? I wonder what happened. What do you think happened? I don't know. I, I I literally I do not know. I, I there's some sort of shadiness there. Think so? Oh come on, man! If you think you saw this, the end all be all. You have <gasps> your goddamn mind. You saw this as le- technical issues caused online block Brock Lesnar drug test number discrepancy. Here, here's my problem, Joe. Here's my problem with okay. this. Okay. So let's just assume Brock. I don't know. Has he had a needle in his ass? Maybe. Maybe I'm not. I don't Let's know. Yes. I've never done it. One hundred percent, I would guess. Well, he tested positive in the Mark Hunt fight. Correct, and Mark suing him for that. Yeah. So, so he is has, Mark suing him. Uh, Mark suing the UFC. Still, yeah, he's still uh, legal action with interesting. that. Interesting. Yeah, and, it's, and he's not in the UFC. He's his contract's up with the UFC, so right. it's gonna probably get even gnarlier now. So, good luck to Mark Hunt. But so Brock Lesnar, we know steroid user. His test, what it just doesn't show up. I mean, that's random. What well, that's coincidence, right? John Jones, greatest fighter of all time. USADA issues, picograms. That's just a coincidence. It's too much of a coincidence for me, Joe. Okay, but wait a minute. The the John Jones USADA thing, they tested him positive. Correct. Like, what are you saying? I. He, oh, by the way, he did test negative after the fight, even for the metabolites. So he for the picograms. Afterwards, there's well, no you, picograms. You, you're saying picograms. Picograms is a unit of measurement. Correct. What he, what he tested That's the positive unit. for there is no a pico- metabolite for this 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 steroid. Which and after the fight, there was nothing. nothing. Correct. Right. Okay. Because the numbers, the the what they're saying is that what he what his body has in it is a response to this steroid. It's not like they're detecting like anavar in his system. What they're detecting it's a is it's a metabolite. Correct. What they're detecting is the body responding to the fact that this steroid had been in his system. Previously. Yes. But they, they documented. It's just coincidence. Yeah. It's not that it's a coincidence. You keep saying it like it's a joke. But, but look because at it. Because the look, situation to me is a look joke, at it, joke. Look at it. Okay. Why don't you tell me why it's a joke? This is why it's a joke. Because have you ever heard of any, and before I say all this, Jones is, I, I think, whether he did anything or not, he's still the greatest fighter on the planet. He doesn't need this stuff. The reason to me because it's a joke is because the greatest fighter on the planet to ever enter the octagon has all these issues. To, okay. It's too much he of a has, coincidence to me. Okay. He has plenty of issues outside of that. When you say all these issues, you mean steroid issues. Correct. Right. Now, the first one being the, I don't, don't mean to cut you off, but the first one being the excuse of the dick pills. Okay, but but it was like they actually got the dick pills. They tested them. This is all documented. Is it? Because yes. they th- well, those they didn't pills. find the dick pills, Joe. They found what they found were the precursors that can be found in dick pills. So if it's clenbuterol, wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? What are you talking about? So so the the thing that he flagged for those mm-hmm. do show up in dick pills. Yes, they also show up in a lot of other things. Right, but he got them the the dick pills that he took, and they had it in them. Correct. So that means he. So then That's he's what clear. He took. But the, in ah, the, listen, in the amount that he had in his system, 
what they're saying is the only way that could exist is through a tainted supplement. The way they tested him before, the way they tested him after, the what the small window of time where he was positive for that thing, there'd be no performance enhancing benefit for him to take something in a micro dose or whatever, uh-huh. and that it's in such a small amount that it had to be a tainted supplement. They got them the actual supplement that he took, the the dick pill supplement. It had it in it. That contained that stuff. Like, and he got punished for that. This is not like a steroid that he took where it made him a better fighter or made him a better athlete. So to play devil's advocate here, so that, that stuff that comes in those dick pills, mm-hmm. you can get from other steroids. But it happens to be in those dick pills. You certainly can. Yes. Correct. But but that's one in, narrative that you that to clear that, you could say, what's well, in these dick pills? I'm not saying, I'm saying you true. can do that. That's true. But it's in such a small amount in his body. And it wasn't in his body before, and it wasn't in his body after, which showed that it was only in his body in extremely small amounts for a small window small of time. Small trace amount, yep. But a small window of time. Mm-hmm. So it's not like he had it. It's not even like this stuff, which is a metabolite, which is showing a response to the body, uh, your, the body responding to the steroid. Then let me ask this, Joe. Okay. Why does no other fighter have any pico- picograms that this pulsating effect really well, that's not true. I mean, other fighters Frank have Mayer? tested. Frank Mir tested positive for something. Got two years. Um, Tom Lawler tested. But Frank Mir didn't go through the same steps that John Jones did. He didn't provide them with, oh, I forget what the exact, there was, there was something that John did also that lowered his uh, sentencing. And it well, was remember he was an informant. Yes. It was cooperating with USADA. Yeah, or or agreeing to cooperate with USADA. Yeah, that. What's then that? we're just cool with that. Uh, listen, I don't even know that, what that means. I don't either. But let yeah. me ask you this: If I agreed to USADA to be an informant, an undercover snitch, get stitches. Correct. <laughs> well, unless you're John, then no one can beat you up, so you're fine. <laughs> but the thing is, is the only way I can inform you is of something that of that I'm know that I know of. I can't right. inform you of just off That's, speculation. That was what I asked Novitsky. I was like, if he didn't do anything wrong, like, and what is he going to offer? Because if unless he took something, unless you know what you're doing, like if I'm an informant for the FBI or for the Feds for cocaine, right? I know my cocaine. Right. They're not going to get Joe Blow that makes my fucking espresso. Right. They're going to get the guy who knows the ins and outs of cocaine. Right. That's to me, again. That's I'm like, all right, cool. Or man. they have a conversation with him, and he says he can provide them with information with how guys are getting away with passing drug tests. And how would you know about that unless you're in on that? No, I just, don't either. I'm just saying. Just to, again, to me, all of it is a little too much of coincidence that the best fighter on the planet Earth has these issues. The best fighter on the planet Earth also ran away from a hit and run, smashed into a girl and broke her arm. He he also drove his car into a tree. He's a reckless person who takes a lot of chances, and he does some, at least in the past, has done some things that are not very wise. This could so fall sh- under that. It, or it Dip could fall in. Correct. Or, to, again, to play devil's advocate, I'm not accusing him of anything. To right. play devil's advocate. Or a guy who is that loosey-goosey outside the outgun might have taken some performance-enhancing things. Because that would be the similar traits. It could have, except in this situation, it doesn't line up with the facts of what he took in terms of long-term metabolites, short-term metabolites, and medium-term metabolites. The, the, only, the only, lo- only long-term metabolites existed, which means that whatever he took, he had to have taken a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Now, the problem with this is this all comes from that guy Gregory R- Rachenkov. Is that how you say his name? You're talking from- about the one test? The, what I'm talking about is the study that shows these metabolites is all from this one individual, this guy, Grigory Ruchenkov, who was the man from that documentary Icarus, who used to work for the Russian uh, doping, the state-sponsored doping program. Mm-hmm. He's the one who established these tests, and the way he established these tests is very uh, highly criticized by people. Because, Super suspect. Well, it's not suspect, it's, but it's criticized by people because he injected himself. And, and tested all these metabolites on himself. And this has not been done on any peer-reviewed test outside of his research. Um, it hasn't been duplicated. The problem is it's not legal to perform these sort of tests on people in America. You can't just shoot people up with illegal steroids Correct. in America and find out what it does to them. Mm-hmm. And, 
but so they, they don't be know able to really. do that. They sh- I told them to get Sean Shelby, whack him up with a bunch of steroids. <laughs> just and Sean's down them. for it. Sean's down for it. He wants to get bigger. Just do it. Or just do it to Vitor Belfort, wherever he's fighting. Just set, he's oh, yeah. down just for whatever. Just tell him, look, Vitor, we got an extra couple hundred grand for you on the side. Just do this and let us see, do some fill blood you work. up with dick pills. Let's see how it goes, bro. Fucking cocaine tainted creatine. For real, <laughs> he would do it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I, I maintain an open mind. Um, I do too. But I'm not accusing John of anything, but uh, again, for me, and this is just me, it's mm-hmm. too much of a coincidence, coincidence for it to raise some red flags for me. Going, I talked right. to two independent scientists outside of Novitski where I was sending guys information. They were sending me back. I was sending them all the work that they did. I was sending them all the relevant studies. And uh, one of them who was suspicious initially after reviewing all the stuff, decided that it doesn't seem like it's likely that it could be possible that he could have actually cheated. He said it's more likely- Cheated during that time. More likely that the actual, the tainted supplement excuse is, and by the way, the tainted supplement, I'm using the air quotes supplement, was never provided. That supplement was never provided. So unless they did it to USADA and USADA didn't want to release it, the number one question was was it cocaine that was tainted with creatine that was the that was where people thought it came from yeah because it's really co- according to Novitsky when he was working for the government that would be a, a really common thing that creatine was used in cocaine to cut it because it looks like coke it cuts with coke it's normal it's not toxic so they would always mix in cheap creatine with cocaine to make more coke makes sense yeah it makes sense and he that's what that's what Novitsky believed but well, that's not what he believed, but he believed that was a possibility. I've heard all sorts of possibilities. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know the actual truth. <sighs> yeah. Well, you know, we're not going to know that. I think we know as much as we're going to know, unless John comes out. Unless John retires and's like, you yeah, know, well, if I, had a, I had a doctor and he would stick it yeah. in my fingernails and see him would slowly release. Yeah, with some yeah. high <laughs> advance <laughs> microdosing. He would never admit know. that, though. Nobody ever admits no, it, ru- it unless they get caught. It ru- tarnish your legacy, unless it's like yeah. an MLB thing. But so many people were quick to jump on the he's a cheater bandwagon. I'm like, man, uh, you got you, you got to be careful you with gotta that. You got to be careful with that. You got to be careful with that. But also, you got to be careful with that, but also... You should be suspicious. You should be suspicious. Yeah. I don't think that if when USADA and Nowitzki go, it's all good, man. It was a dick pill. You go, cool, man. I don't, I don't think you can do that. Well, they de- definitely didn't do that. He, he, he lost a lot no, of I'm, money. No, I'm saying that's what the fans do. That's what the fans oh, do. right. You know, some people can do that. I think it's okay to go, God, I, it's just, I don't know, man. Like, it's too much smoke here for me. It's okay to do that. What it's not okay to do is to say, he was cheating, he's, bu- you know, he, he's busted. It's he the only reason stuff, he's Why winning. does he have this stuff in his system? The, the well, no, it's fine to che- say, why does he have this stuff in the system? Well, Because that's what I say. Right, but they showed why he had it in his system. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you should have it in your system. No, you definitely should have cool it in your system. It's not cool to have it in your system. No. No, so it's okay to go, why the fuck is in the best fighter right. in the world system? Yeah. What are you doing, dude? That's fine Do you fine think to that say. 